Mushroom Kingdom in this. Yeah, Autocrat, yeah. I know, is a, uh, he is a Peach main normally, but I've heard that he doesn't really play Peach on Wi-Fi very often, for very understandable reasons. Online? Yeah. <laughs> That's not exactly Not exactly conducive to finding, to finding success with Peach. For sure. Um... Peach versus Mario, an interesting matchup. Uh, obviously, these are both pretty heavy combo characters. Mario with his up airs and grabs, and Peach with floats and down tilts and almost pretty much everything. But uh, Mario probably has a bit of an easier, probably a lot easier of a time online than Peach does. But uh, I have seen Peach combos online before, so it's nothing new. Yeah, I mean, a skilled Peach player should be able to make it work uh, in uh, many circumstances. I mean, there, there are some situations where the delay is just unable to be overcome. But we are going to get the Peach from, uh, from Autocrats. Yeah, I, I know that Inkling is Boflex's main. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this will be interesting. We're going to get uh, our first glimpse of both of these characters today. Very good characters in the meta. Um, Maybe not quite as good. Well, P in the case of Peach, not quite as good on Wi-Fi as we normally uh, see offline. But Inkling, I think, benefits pretty well from, uh, yeah, from Wi-Fi. Sure. The roller is a little bit tougher to avoid. The aerials are tougher to deal with. Doing nair, two nairs or a nair and a back air and a short hop is extremely advantageous. We are already seeing this roller, but he doesn't space the up smash properly. And so he is unable to get a kill. Doesn't even matter. He just calls out the, the double jump from ledge yeah. with that up smash. For sure. Kind of like guys, another slideshow. <laughs> another slideshow? Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Wow, Bowflex extending his lead very nicely here. Very systematic combo game. Only 67.8% on him on his first stock. Another roller, yeah. Seems like he's committing to that tech chase. Getting a back air at mid percent is immediately going for a roller. But Autocrat DI up to avoid a tech scenario. Up smash, catches the drop, the shield drop, and then gets the up air in the juggle situation. Bowflex has a nearly insurmountable lead, just based on the way he's been playing. Seems like Autocrat hasn't quite figured out a way to crack this yeah. neutral. Yeah, and Inkling being one of those characters that can easily just move around more so than Peach. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's got a stitch. Nice tech on the stitch. Really good awareness from Bowflex, but but Autocrat does get that Z drop turn up into an air. Yeah. Uh, Getting on the board in this game number one. Yeah. And that's how it starts, right? You have to start by just taking it one interaction at a time, not worrying about the overall state of the match. Maybe this one stock will uh, will uh, evoke some kind of uh, resurgence in him. Yeah, for sure. I think that also... Uh, oh, that's my train of thought. Uh, oh, up smash. Yep, that time he spaces it properly. JV3 stock yeah. for Bow Flex. We'll have to see what adjustments uh, uh, Autocrat can make, because Inkling also is a very hard character just to catch. Good air mobility, good ground mobility. Literally runs in the ground when she dashes. So uh, we'll definitely have to see. Um, I think Autocrat will have to try to make it so that Inkling can't kill it as easily, because Inkling can struggle to kill sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> I honestly think he's just going to... I honestly think that uh, he might need some more space. He might pick a stage like Kalos or uh, Town and City to give himself a bit more space, a bit more time to pull turnips and, and try to control the pace a bit because Bowflex was just moving around pretty freely in game number one right there. Yeah. Very oppressive neutral. Yeah, that's what you think you have to deal with the uh, inkling is you gotta, you gotta somehow uh, make sure you can't, she can't move as freely. She, she's able to move around and do whatever she wants. She just becomes very hard to deal with. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna say the Peach, so we'll set to yep. see what stage, uh... Gets. Yep, Peach is as tried and true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No reason not to further, no reason to further disadvantage yourself. Yeah, I think Battlefield's an okay pick here. Battlefield works. 
Yeah. More landing yeah. options for Peach. There will be less opportunities for both Lex to uh, yeah. maybe catch a landing with a roller. F smash on shield. Okay. He doesn't go for the immediate punish. He catches a spot dodge after the F smash and gets a little combo out of it. One of the things that Peach has a little bit over advantage over Inkling is just the damage in general with her combos. That's well, uh, it's 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 sort of true. As soon as uh, Bowflex can get uh, Autocrat buried in Ink, then Inkling will also have the advantage in that category. But in general, yeah, the, the low float combos at, with Peach yeah, those are extremely don't, uh, devastating. Those floats don't get affected by the short hop uh, damage reduction. It's true, yeah. Uh, which I actually, which to this day I still think is a massive oversight on the part of Nintendo. But feels like it. It is the world we live in, so. I don't know how you program that though. Uh, just treat it like a short, just treat low float like a short hop. If it doesn't go past short hop distance, then it's a short hop. All right, so this game is looking a lot better. Oh, he gets another stitch. What's he gonna do with it this time? Oh, he just throws it, and Bowflex is able to dash by it harmlessly, but he does get the fair, catches the dash in, yeah. and Autocrat looking better in game number two. For sure, and Peach just able to cancel those aerials really fast. Finger offense is so oppressive, especially sure. with those back airs. Drifts below the splat bomb off stage and makes it back. Oh, we see the first Peach Bomber, but it doesn't hit shield, so it is punishable. And uh, Bowflex is able to, to make this an even game. I think uh, Autocrad just able to avoid those heavy, devastating uh, Peach combos. I think he'll be in a really good spot. For sure. For sure. Oh, aggressive fair back to the stage. I don't think Autocrat was prepared for it. Definitely now Bullflex gets a nice string of, him, of his own, and he's got stage control. 20% deficit for Autocrat. It's significantly more doable than game number one was. Yeah, I think he's sure. definitely he's definitely tapped into a new reserve for this game number two, and uh, he's definitely making it work despite the the disadvantages of Peach in Wi-Fi that we've talked about. Yeah. yeah. Looks like Bowflex might actually be giving giving him a bit too much space in these ledge circumstances. Uh, he might be scared of side B. Oh wow! Another roller. Autocrat's back there traded with the first one, but then he just went for another one right out of this. Wow. And, uh, yeah, it, it does the job, but yeah, sure. Autocrat catches the roll off ledge with that up smash, and we have, once yeah, again, uh, even stocks, even stocks. and yeah, nearly sure. even percentages. Autocrat can't afford to get another roller, considering, uh, especially at high percents, because that will then send him to losers, <clears> so he's definitely got to be more careful with dealing with inkling on the ground. For sure. For sure. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a tech chase with Roller there. Instead, he goes for the jab, and now Bowflex starting to pull away here. Yeah, for sure. See if Autocrat, he needs a down tilt conversion. He gets the down tilt, but he can't convert with any float cancel nares. Oh, wow, that was a risky ledge option that did pan out for him. And there's the Roller that you were talking about, Scrum. Oh, God. That's going to take <laughs> and that's a set. 2-0 for Bowflex over Autocrat. That is a loser set, so Autocrat finishes in 25th place, and Bowflex will move on. He's got one more match to win before he qualifies for top 16. Mm -hmm, for sure, and uh, I'm actually curious, if Peaches and Float does a uh, like low float, does Inkling's roller a furry, or does it just hit him away? I'm actually not sure.